Okay, today we have for you a nice Landis Model 1R. This is a uh, universal cylindrical grinder. Uh, you have a swing down ID attachment that uh, locks in and locks out with this little pivot pin here. Uh, you will probably want to take your tailstock off. And this is your tailstock. Uh, the headstock has a swivel. You take this pin out and loosen the nuts and you can swivel the pin, swivel the headstock. This has an adapter on it, a quick clamping uh, for a 5C collar. This is made by Hardage. attaches to the front of the spindle. Um, grinding wheel, wheel house or wheel head spindle housing has its own built-in lubrication uh, pump. It's got a big motor over here, a reservoir that you fill up over here so you can always uh, have enough oil in the spindle. Um, this machine is currently wired for uh, 220 volts. Now, being universal, you can actually swivel this whole workhead. And as you see here, I'm swiveling it below the base. I'm swiveling the flat and the V go along with the swivel. So it's not like I'm just spinning the head around, but we're still feeding in at 90 degrees. No. This machine, if you put this at 30 degrees, you're going to infeed at 30 degrees. Uh, it's one of the nice things about the Landis. It's a true uh, universal OD grinder. Uh, with the ID spindle makes it a universal ID OD grinder. So you can select down here whether you want the OD or the external. So I'm going to just do the external, start her up. Takes a second to build up pressure for the pump to turn the spindle on. I'm going to take this off. This is your splash guard. Uh, this is your dresser. One of these you use for the ID grinding wheel. One of these you use for the external wheel. Not sure which. Uh, so in this condition, let's see where we are. We bring the slide. You have the ability to bring the slide forward and back. and start and stop your table. You have longitudinal table movement here. When the lever is all the way in that position, that stops the headstock. It starts the headstock, it starts the table, and you have plunge feed and you have pick feed. Pick feed, you want to turn it on over here, you have a control that gives you this feed up at the wheel head. You're probably not forward. That's the reason for that. Now when we pick this, it feeds. It's feeding a lot because this has opened up a lot. If you close this, it'll feed less. there is a thousand so half that is two tenths so it's going to work its way to zero and stop at zero and there's a spark out timer when it reaches zero it automatically goes to the rear position again then you have to shut the table and the headstock now you can increment we'll do that one more time uh, start the headstock start the table Bring the slide in. So each time we uh, reverse, we'll feed. Right now it's only feeding very finely. I can increase that. Okay, and you can stop that, send that back. And you 
track the wheel head, it always goes back. Now if you don't want to use your pick feed, all the way to the left position there, we'll turn that off. And now you can use uh, just your plunge, which is here, which is a continuous feed, down to zero. Hits a dead stop, starts the timer, and everything kicks out. And then you shut your you shut your wheel. So the cycle would be uh, that you start the part rotating, you bring the slide in, and you feed off. In this case, uh, twenty five thousandths. Now if you don't want to use the spark out for setting up, you have, uh, also have a timer to set the time of that dwell, but you can shut this off, and now uh, when you come forward, this is what you would do, and you would set up, um, you want to let this thing feed all the way down to zero, so that it's all the way uh, at the end of its, it's at its dead stop here. Now you can pull this out in the center, and come up actually it will touch off on your workpiece. That's what you're doing here. I'm moving, I'm moving the slide, but I'm not moving the back dial. All right, so once you touch your workpiece, uh, you can put this back in, and now uh, you go back out, and you pull the pin in the rear, and you set this to how much stock removal you want to have. And then when you come in, it should touch the part and start grinding, if you did that all right. This has a coolant system on the side, a, a tank with a pump. Um, turn the spark out timer back on. And it kicks out. So that's the Landis 1R. Um, it's a nice machine, it's the original paint from the factory. Uh, these machines are built very well, they're very heavy duty, of course you could swivel the table, you loosen the two ends here, and you have an adjustment here, you put your Allen wrench in, and I showed you you can spin the work, the wheel head, you can also rotate um, the work head, and you have your, your fold down ID, I'm just going to shut this off for a minute. It's just a the guard is rubbing here, but it is a very high frequency. This is a 40,000 RPM spindle. So there you have it. This is the Landis 1R cylindrical grinder.